All right, Knights of Apollo, what's up, guys? It's Apollo here, and welcome back to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. So this is the second episode. In the first episode, we just finished the tutorial, and now this is where it becomes sandboxy. It's an open world with endless possibilities, and I'm really excited about this episode because this is the beginning of building a strong and powerful army, and it all begins by going to small villages and recruiting some ambitious soldiers. Uh, so how are you guys feeling about the game? It's been out for a couple hours now. Have you been enjoying it? Is it everything that you hoped for? Now, technically the game's not fully released because it's early access, but what do you think of it so far? Are you guys having fun with it? I uh, just, I'm curious, I wanna know what you guys think. Maybe there's something you don't like about it. Maybe there's something you do or didn't expect. Those little things. So I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say so are you guys ready to dive into this battle in this battle excuse me into this episode uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just start traveling to all these nearby villages and we're gonna recruit as quickly as possible as soon as we get about what 10 guys we're gonna start hunting down looters and bandits and let's go ahead and just recruit some troops here oh just one guy over in this city um, but yes, you know, the multiplayer has been really fun. The siege battles have been super exciting. Uh, let me go ahead and recruit more troops here. So that's two more. So we're slowly building up our army. Uh, I forgot, how much money do we have here? We've got, oh, okay, just under a thousand. So we're doing really well with funds. Uh, we shouldn't have any issues whatsoever in the near future of running out of money or anything like that. So we're going to be okay in that in that regard. And we're just going to keep on... Oh, here we go. Three soldiers ready to join our ranks. Um, but I have absolutely loved... I, I love the art design. I'm actually going to avoid going into the trees here because... I am very afraid of forest bandits because when you're starting out with a new army like I am, most of these soldiers are inexperienced and they don't have good armor. <laughs> they do not have good, uh, you know, shields or armor so they could get picked apart by forest bandits because they're mostly archers. So we're going to head around this way, take the safe route and go to this village and recruit uh, some more troops. So our max amount of troops we can bring to the fight is 21. Again, we're going to get around 10. So let's actually keep moving this way. Uh, so yeah, we're going to we're going to go around uh, we're going to get about 10 uh, recruits and then we're going to start hunting down some bandits so we can start to generate some some income. Now this is usually the grindiest part of Mountain Blade campaigns is the beginning, right? But once you start to get a solid force, then things get really interesting. Uh, but yeah, for now, we're just actually, you know what? Let's just keep going. Uh, again, we're going by some forest here, so I'm a little bit afraid. I love, a okay, I'm a bit scatterbrained because I'm just so excited about this campaign and everything. And, uh, I, you know, honestly, this episode was supposed to come out tomorrow, but I was just like, I, I can't wait. I'm too excited. We're just, I'm going to record a bunch of episodes. Uh, let's go ahead and get these three boys. There you go. Welcome to the army. The great Apollo army. The mighty army. There's one more village up here that we're going to go to. And then we're going to start hunting down bandits like I said. Oh, mountain bandits. Let's just go for them. Here's a good opportunity. Let's see if we can, we can catch up to them. Five of them. That's a really good number. But I think we're just going to be a little... There we go. Oh, yeah. They got little. They got cut off there by the water, and we were able to catch up to them. Look at these guys. I like the style of this guy. A little Willie Nelson there. I like it. All right, surrender or die. Yeah, I was kind of. I was hoping that you'd be able to negotiate uh, against the bandits, like being able to, like, hey, I'll let you go if you pay me a ton of money. I, I thought, you know, I thought that's one thing. I, I guess I wish the game had is uh, being able to negotiate with these bandits. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just stay our or stand our ground. Soldiers, we'll move up move. a little bit. Get ready, men! You are the men of the empire. I love it, love it. Let's go ahead and get some early, early hits on these jerks. This is actually my first time going after mountain bandits. You know what? Let me just go ahead and tell my men to charge. Charge! Charge! For the Empire! Get him, boys. Get him! 
Yeah! Hell yeah, very nice. Very good job. You have won the battle. And we didn't lose a single soldier. So yeah, if you missed the last episode, that's when we created our banner design. Which I feel looks pretty close to my like the spirit of my YouTube channel. So I like it. Uh, also, it looks like we got some great equipment here. So let's just see what we got here. This is... Was this our first battle outside? It was outside of the tutorial, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, we got some fish. Uh, we have a falchion. Falchion? I never know how to pronounce this right, but uh, it's not that good. So we'll just hold on to it to sell. But yeah, everything we have is better, but that's okay. We can hold on to this and sell it and uh, help make some money so we can keep paying for our army. So that was a great little start. I like it. So we're going to keep moving out. And oh, actually, we got some upgrades. So let's see. We can improve this soldier to an Imperial Infantryman. I think I'm going to go for that. I think only one of them upgraded. I'm going to go ahead and move him above the recruit. And we got some prisoners too that we can sell. But let's go to this town really quick. Actually, did we already go to this town? I don't remember. But we're going to go here and recruit more troops. Oh, beautiful. Awesome. Did I did I lose some troops or are they just injured? I think I've just maybe they're just injured. I don't know. I thought I had 14 originally. But uh yeah, what my question for you guys is what part of the empire am I going to join? Because like I said there's like three different parts. You've got I mean, I don't even know the correct terms uh, of these parts, but you kind of have the dark purple, the purple, and the light purple. So I'm not even sure which one I'm going to join, but I guess that's the fun of it, right? Or just to see who you're going to join, who you're going to fight for. Maybe a civil war will break out in the Empire and things are going to get really spicy, really interesting. Uh, but let's uh, fast forward, get to this town, and sell our, our prisoners. And you can do it really quick. So if you actually go to Tavern District, you could sell prisoners so much faster compared to Warband. Look at this. Is this a person who bought our... <laughs> she looks like concerned. Like, oh, these are your prisoners? Like, okay. Um, and then we could trade really quick. Again, we don't have a ton of stuff, but we might as well just... I'm just going to, yeah, trade everything except for the fish. Because that's going to be good for... Actually, oh, God. Dude, you know what? We need food. I just realized. We don't have any food. Uh, let's go ahead and get some grain. They've got lots of grain. So we'll just... Um, we'll get 10. We'll get 10. We'll still get 136 gold. So that's perfect. And our army is growing, guys. It is looking really good. I think the real challenge here is just looking for things to kill. I think, you know, bandits, looters, mountain bandits, whatever they may be, just finding them to kill is the the most difficult challenge because some places, some places like the kingdom or empire in this case, does a really good job of keeping the bandits out of their kingdom. Other places, it's pretty chaotic. There's just bandits everywhere. Uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and just recruit a little bit more. We're almost maxed out. That's fantastic, guys. We're doing great. Uh, we just got to, again, get our boys some experience. Oh, wait. I think we got an upgrade opportunity, possibly. Uh, no? Wait, what is a wage? Oh, do we have to pay their wage? A oh, formation? Okay, so, like, yeah, I'm still learning things because this... This whole layout is much different from Warband, which it should be because, you know, Warband is, uh, what, eight, nine years old. It's, you know, obviously the HUD is going to be much different. Um, let's just max out our army. Okay, we can get one more soldier in. But, you know, I like the number 20. It's a nice even number. You know, you got the zero at the end. So we're going to keep it like that. And we're going to go ahead and just keep looking for something to kill. All right, we found some looters. It's not a big army, but uh, finally we found something to kill. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to catch up to them. Uh, they're running into the forest. Now, usually when there's smaller groups compared to yours, uh, they're much faster than you. Oh, they're going to get some water. Oh, let's see if we can get them. Come on. Come on. Uh, there we go. Come on. They're right behind them. There we go. We got the looters. All right, surrender. No, 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 no. Oops. I completely misclicked. No, that was stupid. No, no, no. No, we're not letting them escape. <laughs> Surrender or die. Ooh, that guy's got like a faded eye. Okay. 
here we go another battle again super easy battle i'm honestly gonna just tell my guys hey charge them give them hell boys give them hell so yeah i'm gonna be uh i'm gonna be leading the charge it's like four looters oh there's a nice little river crossing here check this out oh that's gonna oh no this is bad <laughs> yeah that's not good <laughs> that was scary I love the bounce of power above the uh, on the top of the screen. Come on, boys, make the river turn red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, awesome. So we got more, ex more. Uh, ooh, cheese! Wonderful cheese, Gromit. So there we go. We got a lot of supplies there. Not great, but again, we're just gonna keep doing this. We're just gonna keep chasing. There's, there's another looting army over there, so we'll go ahead and chase them down. Oh, or not and you're not getting away yeah, come on we're so close we can taste them stop them stop them okay come on we're this there we go that is ridiculous all right surrender or die same thing guys this is a really good op situation we're gonna just charge in a good opportunity really no oh look at the battlefield here i like this one this is cool. All right, men. Attack! Charge. I'll meet you on the front line. These poor, like, these poor looters are like, dude, come on. We're just four guys. <laughs> Ow. Hey, don't hurt my horse. There goes my brave army. Love the blue. Love the blue uniforms. They look great. Yeah. Victory. <laughs> All right, another victory for uh, for Team Apollo. We got some prisoners this time, too. And we also have some nice uh, clothes here that we can sell. And I'm curious, do we have anybody who's... Yes, we got two people. Let's just keep getting infantrymen. So I have a nice, solid, like, core line that we can use. Now, I noticed over here... Um, actually, let me zoom in. There's a hideout. So let's just go to this hideout and attack it. Okay, so we're in position to attack the hideout. We're going to wait until nightfall and just go in. And good thing I upgraded those a couple of those guys because I don't think everybody can... Like, only your best men can join you in this little night attack. So this is going to be, uh, this is gonna be uh, good fun here. So let's just tell them to follow me. Oh. What the heck? Uh... Well that... Wait... Okay, I must have forgot of some... Like, is this something to relate to the... How is it instantly to the boss? Don't we have to kill some people? Um... The men there, damn you. How about we settle this one-on-one? -on -one? Okay, uh, duel him? Nah. He, do he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> oh! He got wrecked! I like to let my men kill my enemies. Yeah! Yeah! All right, sweet. So we got rid of that hideout. We got plus point, or we got 0 0.2 renown. And we're gonna go ahead and take the prisoners. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get any like tradable goods. But uh, from here, we're just gonna keep looking for bandits to go kill. Hopefully we find a big bandit army. Oh, here we go. Here's some looters. Oh, hey, help. Hey, this is perfect. Let's help this guy out. So this is one of the lords. I'm, I can't wait to finally, hey, we get to check out a professional army on the battlefield. Look at this. Oh, look at the, oh my God, look at the cab. Follow me. All right, I'm just gonna tell my men to follow. Oh, dude, if this is the armies that we can make, this is so cool. Look at that. Men, let this be an inspiration for you. This is what you will become. Oh, awesome. So awesome. All right, now it's not much of an enemy, but we are improving our relations with the uh, nearby lords, and that's always good. So, hey, we gained 0.5 morale. Okay, well, it feels good helping out the uh, friendly kingdom, just letting the lords know that, hey, Apollo Singer, which is a stupid name, I don't know why I gave myself that name, is here to help this kingdom. And we are good people. 
Oh, look at this. Look what I just found. We found a hideout. That's a forest bandit hideout. Again, I'm terrified of forest bandits. I really am. And I think what I'm going to do next time, if I find a hideout that's not a forest bandit hideout, I might just kind of camp it, not destroy it. Oh, wait, here's some looters. We'll go for those looters. But yeah, I'm not going to destroy the hideout because oftentimes the bandits will spawn there and it'll be a good like feeding zone, you know, where we can feed up some experience. But we're going to quickly try to rush down these bandits. They're getting slowed down by the mountains. Let's see. Come on. We can get to them. Oh, and look who's joining us. Oh, he's fast. There we go. Yeah, let's help him out. Attack. All right, sweet. We get to see another. Oh, yeah. Look at this professional army. All right, boys, follow, follow me. me. Look at these guys. Oh, my God. I love the Empire, dude. They are a cool faction. And I feel like my faction color kind of works with this. Uh-oh. That was scary. I was like, oh, I'm dead. Oh, he's running. He's running. Oh, God. The lance to the face. And that, folks is another victory yeah awesome so we're really improving our reputation here with these lords and i'm plundering one gold so that's something let's go ahead and check um do we have any upgrades going on here no not yet of course we don't get a lot of experience from those battles because we're not really killing a lot and looking at my inventory i'm starting to run out of grain so i think i'm gonna run to a city um, pretty soon here and start, you know, tr do some trading, try to get some grain. Let's see if we can chase down this army of six here really quick. Get them off the battlefield, try to get some of their goods, get some experience, and then we're going to go trade. We also, oh, no, 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 no. Keep chasing, keep chasing. We also have some prisoners with us, uh, which are going to be, you know, really useful at helping us uh, get some get some gold so we can spend it. Oh, there's force bandits. Look at all these bandits. Oh, my goodness. Look at them run. They're like cockroaches just scattering everywhere. Come on. There we go. Another battle. Again, these are small little battles. I'm not the, I know they're not the most exciting thing. Oh, by the way, check out my smile right there. You see that smile? Yeah, epic. All right. So, yeah, I know these battles are not the most exciting thing, but they're good experience boosters, money makers, um, you know, just all that important stuff. So follow me, follow me boys. The glory. All right, let's just tell him to charge. All right, let's kill these scum. You're not welcome in this kingdom. You're not welcome here. Look at my army, dude. I mean, it's kind of lame that most of them just have swords. I can't wait to upgrade all of them to have sword and shield. Yeah, awesome. Slaughtered them. Yay. <laughs> I always got to do that every victory. Oh, nice. We got another prisoner. And we got some good... Oh, butter. Heck yeah, we love me some butter. We love me some butter. Does that even make sense? All right, so we got some good goods here. We should now... We could try chasing down these force bandits. Uh, I don't really feel like losing any of my soldiers. Did any of them... Oh, perfect. We got another soldier who leveled up. Uh, hey, it's only one, but it, we're slowly getting more and more professional uh, forces. Now, there is a big city over here that we're going to make our way to. It's called, and please forgive me, Vostrum. Vostrum? Vostrum? So, we're going we're gonna to try to make our way over. Oh, wait, wait. There's looters. I mean, it's hard to pass on these looters. <laughs> Look at this, another five. Hey, group up. Make it 10. Oh, make it 15. Come on, 15 versus 20. That would be a big battle. Oh, come on. You know, I start to get, like, Kingdom Come vibes. Not so much, like, from the gameplay saying, like, the games are super similar. But in the feeling that I get playing the game. Well, I remember the first time I played... Alright, we're not gonna... Well, let's just go to the city over here. Yeah, we're gonna go to Poros. I'm sorry if I'm slotting these names. Uh, but yeah, I get the, the feeling that I get. The, the feeling of excitement and the just, like, I can't wait to play the next part kind of feeling. It's awesome. I really... I love it. So... Uh, what are we doing? Ah, oh, we're trading. That's right. So, let's... Honestly, I don't want any of this stuff. So, except for the food. Oh, we should get some headgear, though. 
Yeah, let's keep that headgear. I'm gonna sell all of these. Let's see, are these boots? No, these boots are not better. So we'll we'll do that. And I need a shield, guys. I might get this Norse round shield. It's kind of expensive. Uh, no, come on, I can't get this Norse round shield. Who am I kidding? I'm not gonna get that. The only thing though is we're gonna go negative with gold. We really didn't generate enough gold there. I might just get this reinforced cav small shield or you know what this is 55 let me get this we're gonna get a nice shield that we're gonna equip to us is there anything else we want or need oh we need grain so let's just get enough grain all right we'll just pay the 15 we really need to start focusing on on making more money uh, so we because this is a fairly expensive army and we just need to keep um, Oh, we need to keep finding looters. That's what we need to do. All right, so we'll just keep chasing looters and keep grinding, guys. I mean, that's all the beginning of Mountain Blade campaigns are. It's just a big grind, trying to keep up, trying to uh, to have it so you're, you're generating enough income to build or pay that expensive army you're building. But this, this army just is really fast. And it looks like a lord is going to be joining us in this pursuit of killing these lord, uh, looters. It's actually pretty impressive to see this kingdom have so many lords hunting down these guys. Uh, and he's much faster. So we're going to help him out. Again, uh, we don't get much experience from this. But it is pretty cool to see these professional armies in action. Give them hell! Charge, men. We're here to help you against the looter scum. Oh, man. This water really slows you down. That's a good thing to know in case you're taking on a cap faction. Come on. What? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got the last kill. All right. Another victory under our belt. Fantastic. This is going very well. We go ahead and take the. Oh, we got a lot of prisoners we need to get to uh, or get rid of because I think you have to feed them, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, grapes. Delicious. Oh. I'm, I'm so dumb. I didn't equip this. There we go. Now we got my shield. Perfect. Uh, so, yeah, we need to we need to make it to another city. I, that's that's what I completely forgot to do is is um, go to a big city and sell my uh, prisoners because they are taking up some food. Let's see if we can catch up to these looters. Though, don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure if uh, you actually have to feed your prisoners. If they actually get into your food supply. Okay, well, I'm going to stop pers pursuing those bandits. I'm going to head to this. Ooh, that's a scary force. There's a lot of force bandits in here. All right, let's try to get out of here as quickly as possible. Ooh, an army of 15 looters. Okay, that's a battle. That's a battle. Now let's see, uh, nobody can be upgraded, but I feel like if we fight this one, yeah, there they are. If we fight this one, we're gonna, oh wait, I upgrade, I leveled up, hell yeah, okay. So let's see, what are we gonna get here? Um, leadership is really important to me. Leadership increases the amount of troops, right, that we can, that we can have in our army. I mean, I'm pretty happy where we are, because funds are kind of a bit of an issue, I'm actually going to improve trade if I can. Oh, wait. I don't have any points. But I can improve something from here. Oh, wow. This is cool. Okay. Let's improve our trading skills. 5% increased sell price for trade uh, trade goods. Also, your profits are marked. Uh, appraiser. 5% increased sell price for equipment. Also, your profits are marked. Um, equipment or... Let's do equipment. It seems like most of the time we have equipment. That's cool. I love the whole tier system or, or the leveling up system. It's much different and I really like it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we're going to try to chase down this army. They're pretty far away, but I think we can catch up to them. Let's see where they lead us to. Come on. My army needs experience. There we go. Heck yeah. They, they got, they're like, oh, there's a big castle over there. We need to turn around. All right. So we got these guys 
right where we want them. My army should do okay here. Um, we might lose a couple soldiers, but I'm hoping not. Um, we're going to just... Hmm, I think I'm going to just stand my ground. Oh, nice. Look at my shield. I got my uh, my flag on it, my banner on it. Footman! Forward! Let's move them up there. Let's go, man. All right, so I'm going to try to hit them on the flank. You guys be the center line. Hold fast. I need to get some calves soon. All right, here we go. Men, keep your shields up. Ooh, 70 damage. Leave my men alone. All right, men, charge. Charge! Ah, we lost a couple of them. I knew it. Get them, boys. Get them. Yeah! Great job. Great job. I think I lost three men there. Not the best situation. Really is not the best, but it was a nice big battle that should give us more prisoners and also some experience. Again, uh, I guess we should get some archers just to throw in there. So yeah, we'll start we'll start creating archers with our forces, but um, we need to go to a big city. Oh, look at all of this stuff. Oh, grain, excellent. Yeah, we're gonna get all this stuff here, sell it. Um, we should hopefully generate uh, some income so we can keep paying for this army. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to this city over here, which we haven't gone before. Siorna, Siornia, I don't know. That's that's probably not even close. Uh, I'm gonna keep my army at 15. It's a little bit cheaper, but my army's only getting better because of the quality of the troops, like the upgrades. So let's recruit troops. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Let's trade. <laughs> I'm not trying to recruit troops here. Come on. So let's sell all of this. Oh, I forgot to put on my headgear. My my head like. I know this doesn't do much for me, but I keep forgetting to equip it. I'm sure you guys will point that out. And then we also need to buy some grain. Yeah, uh, we'll get... All right, we'll make 100 gold. We're not going to spend any more. There we go. Beautiful. And let's go to my character. Let's go to my inventory, actually. And then we're going to add this it looks pretty stupid but hey you know it's it's not that bad looks all right looks okay so we got some head you know head protection it's not quite a helmet but if someone farts on our head it won't hurt as bad <laughs> i mean seriously what is that cloth gonna do i guess it's better than nothing but come on uh so let's let's just keep moving out and looking for uh enemies to go after so, yeah, we're just riding out. We're looking, we're looking. Um, oh, oh, there's looters everywhere now. This is perfect. All right, another another army of eight to go loot after. Let's see if we can catch up to them. Where are you going? Nope, dead end. You're, oh, come on. We're so close to them. Sometimes the enemy, it's like you heard them. Oh, oh yeah, group up, group up. No, no, no. Oh, hey, there's a hideout. I don't really want to face forest bandits, though. There we go. Okay, well, we caught up some looters. Um, we're going to go ahead and help out another... Unfortunately, a, a fellow lord has caught up to him as well. Attack! Come on, guys, get up there. I want you to get some experience. Don't let this... Oh, this is a strong army. Look at this for... I can't wait until we join a kingdom. I really can't wait. But right now, we're humble little soldiers that are just trying to get by. We have no interest, no interest in joining a kingdom just yet, as we are still trying to perfect our craft so a uh, friendly lord will see potential in us. All right, victory, and e another easy battle. And more experience for our forces. All 
All right, excellent. Now, we still have... I keep forgetting this, guys, but we still have the prisoners. And we need to get rid of them. So I'm just going to rush over and deal with that. I'm just going to avoid any looters or anything like that. So we're going to go over and go to this city. And let's go deal with these prisoners. So let's go to the tavern district, sell prisoners. It's so nice. It seems like every... Uh, town has someone who will buy prisoners of war now. I remember in war ban You kind of had to like find someone and it, sometimes it took a little while You had to go to multiple cities to get rid of these prisoners I think that's a nice feature because it you know looking for people to oh, army of nine hold on hold that thought but looking for people to sell You know prisoners to is not really that immersive. You know what I mean? Like, just, just have it so they're always in every city. All right, looks like, oh, once again, we're going to be joining another lord to attack. But it's been really cool to see these professional armies. Oh, yeah. Attack! Come on, charge, boys. It's been awesome. Let's clean them out. Let's see if I can get a kill here. Oh, there you go. There you go. Come on. Look at my army go. Woo. Big battle time. Heck yeah. Get them, boys. Victory. Victory. All right. We won another battle. Again, we're just slowly just grinding out these battles. Ooh. Uh, is this any good? Uh, it's a... About, no, it's not. It's not better than one I have, uh, but that's okay. We got something out of that battle. That's the bad thing about fighting with lords is that you have to share the loot with them. You know, I, I'm not a fan of that because I need that loot. Okay, so I caught up to some forest bandits. Uh, yeah, they're they're kind of scary, uh, but we caught up to them. There's only three of them. We should be able to kill them without taking any casualties. I'm a little worried about the archers, and honestly, I'm just going to tell my men to charge. I'm going to go after... Yeah, see, he's already they're already shooting us. We got to close the gap. And the, can, you, can you imagine a whole army of this? Like, it would be pretty scary. We need more cav forces to deal with force bandits. Uh, if we could just run them down. There we go. They're all shooting at me. Hey, don't you shoot at my horse. Ow. Oh, perfect. I don't think we lost anybody there. Good job, lads. I have an arrow in my back. Let's hope it doesn't get infected and I die from disease. All right, so that hopefully, you know, taken on a little bit more challenging of an enemy. Uh, we were able to get some upgrades. But, yeah, we got, we got a couple. Ooh, here we go. We got more grain. Arm wraps. That's what I need. I need to wear those. There we go. A little bit more armor to protect us. Um, but we didn't really get much out of that, honestly. So it wasn't that great. Um, we can try following this lord over here. So let's chase down these looters. And uh, I don't think we're going to get to the battle in time, honestly. More forest bandits. They scare the crap out of me. I'm just not... Yeah, see, it's going to be over. Yep, it's over by the time we get there. Okay, so we're losing about 19 gold every day. We're doing okay. Again, I'm not looking to recruit any more soldiers. I'm just looking to improve, which, by the way, we can improve. We'll go ahead and get another archer. So we'll be done with that. There we go. It costs 15 gold to improve them, but it's completely worth it. It is worth it. And we might as well go in here and sell our prisoners. Yeah, let's just head into here. Let's go to... Let's see. The tavern district. Sell the prisoners. And let's actually... Let's visit the tavern. Let's visit the tavern. Because, guys, we are at the end of our adventure. So, this was a fun episode. We saw many battles today, though very small very important to our cause it trained up our troops and they're getting better every day sure we lost about five guys but the weak will die and the strong will prevail now just like every episode i'm going to grab me a drink see how far i can get with this maiden 
and call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have another episode coming out probably within hours, seriously. I mean, it'll be the next day, but in a couple hours. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Stay safe, guys. Stay indoors. Wait this virus stuff out. I hope you're doing okay. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on the battlefield.